Craig, thanks very much. With your eye on education tonight, the Exeter County School District is in the works to build three brand new elementary schools with the help of the $129 million bond passed in 2012. The plan is to have the schools look very different than the ones that we, we went to as children. Instead of hallways, students will walk through a large hub seen on the left side of your screen. The 21st century floor plan is, to, is designed to promote new learning opportunities. Now, beside the lack of hallways, there are many more differences, and there is something already like it here in the Permian Basin. CBS 7's Macy Marigi joins us now from the newsroom to explain. Macy? That's right, Jane Tatum. New Tech Odessa High School has already implemented what they call a 21st century learning environment. This floor plan strays from the traditional setup, allowing for project-based learning. Simply put, project-based learning is taking standards the state requires and applying them to real-life scenarios. Everything in fluid motion. Chairs are on wheels. Students sit at tables. All to encourage working together for a common goal. It's adaptable to the needs of the students. And it's not just physical. The whole project-based teaching style adapts to different learning styles. You can have first period and need to present the information one way, and you know second period coming in, they may need it a different way. Instead of lecturers, facilitators lead the discussions. And everyone is part of the lesson. So everybody brings different strengths and they grow from the strengths of the other students. All of which forces students to become critical thinkers. If you take a look at the proposed floor plan here for the new Ector County Elementary Schools, you'll notice that the layout is very open. Walls will move to create different sizes and configurations of the space. Live in the studio, Macy Marigi, CBS 7 News. Macy, thank you. And here's one more detail. The firm behind the design says each grade level area will have a large safe room where students can seek shelter in case of an active shooter on campus or even a tornado. The Midland School District will also have some new additions as part of its $163 million bond. The MISD board has approved these plans for the new Bunch Elementary and the new Southwest and Northwest Elementary Schools. For the full-length animations of the new schools, you can go to our website at cbs7.com. Big changes could be on the way for Stanton ISD. According to Superintendent David Carr, the school board has been discussing the possibility of calling for a bond on the May ballot. The bond could range anywhere from $25 to $35 million to build a new high school and for new additions to the elementary and middle school. This bond will be discussed at Monday night's board meeting.